Okay, so I want to talk about dragonflies and their visual abilities because I've mentioned this before in one of a couple of my videos as we talk about our vision and our visual abilities changing biologically to new functions. And it's freaking out a lot of people. Uh, a, it's going to give your eyes a lot of hassle uh, because your cellular uh, shit is changing, excuse my language, on a very basic level. So you're going to have a lot of eye issues because that has to happen, uh, as you will start to see in more dimensional capacity. Does that make sense? But what I want to do is talk about dragonflies for just a second. As I mentioned, dragonfly visionary abilities on my holographic eye um, 12D video, and I also mentioned on my quantum fragments uh, video. Uh, but let's talk in depth about this right now, because this is what's happening, uh, I believe, to some degree. At least this is where I've been led. Uh, take it for what you will. So let's talk about dragonfly abilities for just a second. First of all, dragonflies are one of the most deadly predators on the earth. They can take stuff out of the air in a predatory fashion and avoid being taken out uh, is an amazing, amazing ability for them. Part of the reason for this is that they have a visionary ability unlike any other creature on the earth. One of the things that they can do is filter out useless information. Uh, they can take a visual scan of something and filter out what they don't need. Uh, it's an amazing ability that they have. It's almost like a grid-like formation that they can grid something off. Um, so let's talk about some of the other things uh, in specific real quick about what dragonflies really can do. So dragonflies have a really interesting thing that they have something called 30,000 facets. Now you're probably saying, I would like to know what a facet is, because I don't know what a facet is. A facet is also called an omatidia. Now that is something that creates its own image. For example, houseflies have about 6,000 facets. Um, I have no idea how much a human uh, eye has as far as facets go, to be perfectly honest, but I don't think we have very many. Um, now, houseflies can get a panoramic view of their surrounding, right? Now, it's one of the reasons our eyes look like little honeycombs. Uh, with 30,000 individual facets, though, dragonflies blow away every single thing on the planet. So part of the reason for this is that they have eight pairs of descending visual neurons. Now, these compile thousands of images into one overall picture. It gets really nuts after this because they also have three options. Or, I'm sorry, humans, we have three opposites. Now, those are proteins that sense light. They give us ranges of colors, uh, red, green, blue, one for each opsin. Dragonfly eyes have four or five opsins more than anything. This allows them to perceive not only the normal color spectrum, it also allows them to see the UV lights and the plane of light polarization, which is if you put on the polarized sunglasses or if you use like one of those uh, polarization filters on your camera, right? Now, they think that this helps them navigate because they're close to the water, it reduces the sun's glare, yada, yada, yada. You have to take into con consideration, we really don't know what they can see, what light spectrums they can see. We can only perceive what we know. So there is an intense possibility that they can see things that we have no idea of. And I think it's very possible that they can see part of what I discuss. Um, and what I am starting to see and some of the pictures that you will start to see. So part of this is that these, these dragonflies have these massive eyes. I really hope that doesn't happen to all of us because I'm not ready for all of that. Okay, I'm just not ready. But it looks a little bit like this astronaut's helmet, right? Not only can they see you coming forwards, they can see you going back, backwards and sideways. They can see you any which way. You know what I mean? This is part of what helps them. They just have this complete 360 view on everything. And like I said, it also, um, with all these extra facets and options, it also helps them have all of these other light interactive uh, qualities that they can see. So I'm starting to wonder if they can see these other dimensional uh, properties. Let me put it that way. So what I know is now when I, because I've had this major shift in the way that I can see visually, um, my visual processes have changed dramatically, I would say, within the last little bit. I, I've said for a long time that I have lots of weird issues with my eyes as far as these weird crystals or what look like gold pieces 
or these light interactive fractals, uh, whatever you would like to call these. I also have filaments or what look like fibers coming out of my eyes nonstop. Um, what I would say though is that in the last few weeks I have had a dramatic shift in my visual abilities and it for right now has to be there has to be a light source that is interactive as a filter for me to be able to access that let me put it that way so when I first noticed this shift in my abilities it was when the Sun was out now I live in Western Washington I don't get a lot of Sun very often so it's not around all the time and I did not know that this had happened until it came out just a little bit ago and then I was looking through the Sun and I realized oh my gosh what the F is that really what I'm seeing right now? It was as big of a shift in my abilities or my awakening or this process uh, that's happening, I would say, crystalline DNA, whatever. I would say it was just as big of a shift as when I woke up from my surgery. It was that dramatic. It was that noticeable. Uh, it kind of changes everything. So it's taken me a little bit to process it and try and figure out exactly what this means. And... Like I said, I'm just walking this road with the rest of you. I'm looking for the answers just like all the rest of you are. Uh, but I promise, like I said, to share my experience as openly, honestly, and transparently as possible. So I am including some videos and pictures, uh, not videos, but pictures right now, showing you uh, what this looks like through my eyes when the sun is a filter. Now, I can also view things this way if... I am, if, if it's dark outside and there's like a street light or some, some sort of light that I'm looking, it has to be a strong light though. It couldn't just be like a, a, a lamp in your living room. It wouldn't work that way for me. It has to be almost in the elements. Uh, there has to be an element uh, part to that at night for whatever reason. It's not necessarily that way during the day. But when you look through the sun during the day, it's outside anyway. So I don't know. Maybe it's that way all the time. I'm not exactly sure. But at night, for sure, the only time I've been able to access that same ability to be able to see these extra layers and details and things is uh, outside looking up through a street light. So like I said, it has to be a very significant light source. It can't be something very um, small or, or not a big power outlet. Now, as you're seeing some of these images as I'm speaking to me it looks like a geometric overlay there's uh, everything is connected it's layer upon layer upon layer you can kind of see it's the background of these images you'll notice that all of these images have the same overall theme and it's that background overlay of just multiple intertwined images does that make sense um, and I think that we will all get there the colors are so much brighter uh, it's hard to describe. It's like everything is, I'm not sure. Did anybody ever see that movie, When Dreams May Come? Uh, it's an old Robin Williams movie, and it's a great movie. If nobody's seen it, you should totally go out there and watch it. It would be a really excellent thing to do, especially right now. I would think it would be a great fit for right now, the, the awakening process. But one of the great things about that movie is, uh, is that the colors when he goes to the other side of the veil they're like literally dripping now i wouldn't say the colors are the same way when i see them visually now i would say that they're more of a crisp crystalline based it's hard to describe exactly but it's it's a it's a crystal base i don't they're not dripping like overly saturated i wouldn't say it it's almost more of a pastel base it's hard to describe it exactly it's unlike anything I have ever seen physically before, um, let me put it that way, but I do think that as these, as your cellular structure starts changing and you integrate more and more and more of this light, you don't go backwards, you only go forwards, um, I think it's, it's highly likely that it, step by step by step by step you get more and more of these abilities and you get to see more and you integrate more and this just it's more and more as I show with just we could say the sparkles to make it easy, fractal DNA, whatever you want to call that, crystalline DNA, light body, rainbow body, whatever you want to call that, that I show. The more and more of that that gets integrated into your system, the more your visual perceptions change. That's what I would say. And I would say within the last several weeks, there's been a major shift because I can feel 
that there has been a major shift in the intensity of frequency that's hitting the earth right now. Uh, you'll notice a lot of people are starting to lose it a little bit. A lot of people are really being thrust into this awakening process, kicking and screaming at this time. If you look around, you'll be like, oh boy, yep, I know some people, <laughs> right? So my point is just take a minute if you can each day. If you have the sun near you, look, uh, you know, do some sun gazing and start looking around and seeing if you can see some of these different visual perceptions. I know a lot of people are writing to me saying that they absolutely are starting to see some different uh, visual things. And just, you know, maybe journal it, share it. It's so important that we share this information with everybody. Um, I just had a friend of mine tonight send me, Rochelle, I love you, thank you, um, sent me a, a message tonight and said, hey, have you seen this? And I was getting a little discouraged because I was thinking nobody's really picking up on these physical changes, or at least it just seems like it's going really slowly, let me put it that way. Um, and then she sent me this great video and it shows how this one person was talking about the Mandela effect in their eyes being in hexagon shapes. And then when I clicked on that link though, I just saw video after video after video after video of people and it was just titled under Mandela effect, I guess. I never really thought to, to perceive it that way. Um, I mean, I had talked about Mandela effect, but I just, when I talk about the symptoms, I just talk about them in a, in a different form, I guess. But um, I couldn't believe the amount of people that have posted on Reddit or on YouTube or in just various Facebook, other places about these changes they're seeing in their eyes and they are, not understanding yeah what's happening and so if i can be of any help to anybody like i said i don't we can argue all day long about why this is occurring you guys know my st my stance on that i've discussed it several times but we can no longer discuss or debate i guess i should say that this is occurring because it is i've shown visual proof of that there's tons of people now picking up on this within the last month or two i think more and more will every day um, I think after the summer, nothing will be the same because I just don't think people are going to be able to be in denial anymore that there are actual physical changes happening to their structure. Or at least to somebody they know, it's just going to be too obvious. At least when I go outside, it's obvious. That's what I'm saying. And I know there's others like me and apparently a whole lot more than I thought. So if you have seen any of this stuff in yourself, I would love to hear your, your experiences. Please share it helps everybody in the community to know that they're not the only crazy one. The more people that come forward with this information and push it for the collective, the more people we can get to ahead of time so that when it happens for them, they don't freak out. That's the whole point of my channel uh, is so that I could try and make the landing a little softer for other people. But I hope that you guys can see the beauty in what I'm starting to see. It's at times just overwhelming and amazing and beautiful. Um, I'm really happy it wasn't uh, something else. Like if the worst that's going to happen is I'm going to be a little sparkly and I can see these amazing things um, and I feel so much more empathy and love for everybody, well, then I don't see how that could be possibly a bad thing. So anyways, be the change that you want to see. Uh, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I love you all so very much. Uh, hang in there. It's not an easy process. And until I see you the next time, I'll catch you on the rebound.